Raymond Khan here for seconds out with main event. Michaela Mayer looking to add some gold round of waste at the weekend. Michaela, good to see you. What did you make of the press conference? How are you feeling heading into Saturday night? Um, great press conference, you know, nothing too uh, crazy. Obviously, me and Natasha Jonas, we do have respect for each other. We made this fight pretty much on our own. Um, but I think that's what makes it so intriguing and so exciting is that you have two really talented fighters, a ton of experience, who are willing to put it on the line for the fans. No stranger to foreign soil, British soil specifically, but are you worried maybe a little bit about the judges' decision? Should it go to the scorecards? Yeah, it's always hard to not think about that a little bit, especially in the sport of boxing. We've seen it happen so many times. Um, I'm not overthinking it, but I am realistic about the fact that I need to do everything I can to win these rounds clearly. I can't give anything away. I don't want a close decision. Um, it's just how it works when you're in the champion's hometown. You know, I don't, I don't want to be fighting the, the scorecards. You made the point to reference the rematch scores uh, pre-fight. I just wonder, A side, B side, aside, do you think it says anything to the confidence to put that rematch scores on you? Um, I don't know. I think that I understand to an extent why you would put a rematch clause because there's been a lot of bad decisions lately in boxing and you want to protect what you have. But it's also hard because I think a rematch should be warranted. It should be wanted. It should be deserved. It should be earned, right? So if this fight, if she doesn't deserve a rematch, it's going to suck that I have to hold on, you know, hold back my progression to give that rematch. But um, ultimately, it's what we need to do to get the fight done. So I was willing to do it. And I think it's going to be a really exciting fight. And hopefully the fans will want to see it again. With that said, what type of fight do you think this will be? As Hagler Hearns has said a lot, um, not discounting that it might be and turn out that way. But for your own words, how do you feel it will play out? I think it's going to be a very strategic fight. But I also think there's going to be moments that we are going to have to bang it out because we can't let this slip away from either one of us like we both really really want this win we both had setbacks in our career before and we're not in the place where we're, we're willing to do that again so um i think there's a little bit more pressure on me to make sure i win those rounds clearly because i'm in her hometown so if i gotta fight in, in moments i gotta fight and i think coach all knows that get your thoughts on a couple of other things while in the scope of the sphere do you feel that you've been fighting at three minutes this year I hope so. I tried to get it done this time. You know, at the end of the day, I don't have a belt. It's not my promotion. It's not my country. I didn't really have the leverage to do that. But hopefully after this, I can I can get that done because I do think it's um, the next step to help us evolve and grow in the sport. And uh, I think I can do it. And I know I can do it. So I want to prove that. It was a while back, uh, Lee, sparring of Clarissa Shields getting dropped. Uh, a lot of people weren't happy about that. I wonder what your thoughts are that that sort of sparring gets leaked. Yeah, not cool at all. You know, what happens in the gym, it should stay in the gym. That's where you're you're there to learn and grow, right? That's not something that should be leaked. So that's horrible. On this, In her defense, though, it's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, she's in there doing what she got to do, training as hard as possible with the best sparring partner she can find. She got caught, she got caught. Again, this is where you're supposed to be learning. Um, it's not a place for someone to be filming and, and leaking it on the Internet. Uh, wherever you go, there seems to be news of Alicia Baumgart and the WBC have exonerated her to a degree. Now, I wonder if you'd like to speak at all about that development um, with what the WBC have, have said regarding her case. Um, I definitely have an opinion on that and I will confront it, but I need to get through Saturday night and I'll confront it after the fight. I respect that point of view. I'll leave the final word with you, Michaela. What happens on Saturday night? Get your ticket. It's going to be an explosive fight. Lots of action from round one. I know that, but at the end of the fight, you'll see my hand raise. I'm leaving with that belt. Fortunately for you guys, you'll get to see it again in April. Um, but I hope you all enjoy it. And you know that's really important to me that the fans come out and that they enjoy a fight that they really want to see. So um, I promise to give that to you. Okay, looking to break some British hearts this weekend. Thanks for so much for speaking seconds out. All the best. Thank you. Appreciate it.